Jason Schron here from Rapido Trains, Inc. Uh, you're in my basement in the HO Scale Kingston subdivision. I'm shouting to be heard over the locomotives. Uh, we're in Brockville, Ontario. Behind the camera is my daughter, Dahlia. Say hello. Hi. Okay. Today, I'm here to talk to you about some passenger cars. And conveniently, I need them for my layout. That's why we're making them. Uh, they are the Bud Baggage Dormitory HO Scale and the Bud 4451 Sleeper in HO Scale, also known as the Manor Sleeper. I will tell you all about that in a sec. Uh, and hey, have a look. Dolly, show them Brockville. I'm really proud of this. This is Brockville on the uh, on the layout. You have a CN shed over there. You've got, it uh, used to be a hotel, now it's apartment buildings. That was built by John Greggs over there. This is Brockville Station, which uh, I built on the laser from scratch. There's the freight office. And yeah, it's a recreation. I, there's no crossing signals yet, so all my cars keep on getting wiped out by trains. Anyway, let's get to it, and I'm going to show you these cars. So, Dahlia, come over here, and let's uh, look close, and, and Jordan and Jeremy will cut in some uh, other shots for us, too. Okay, you're, you're down on the floor. you got, you got to come up beside me. Uh, yeah. Okay, so the, the third deck is really high. Eh? Okay. So, uh, what we have here, there's your baggage dormitory. You'll notice I only have Via Rail. Oh, this is off the track. I only have Via Rail Canada and Action Red because I model 1980, and that's all I need. So uh, there's no Canada logo with the wavy flag, and there's no maroon. That's because this is my layout. Okay, so I'll start with the baggage dorm. So um, if you go and just focus on that, you can press on the screen to focus on it. On the do that. There you go. Okay, so here's the baggage dorm. Um, you got a beautiful stainless steel finish. This is a, an early run from when we did the Canadian years ago, uh, but now we're doing a new run with some improved detail. But you can see the beautiful stainless steel finish on that. We're really happy with how that looks. It's not just uh, painted silver, and it's not chrome. looks like a toy. All right. Um, you can see the 41 NDO 11 trucks here. They've got the Rolacron controls on them. You've even got the, uh, the Rolacron controllers. There's your Rolacron controllers. You have a little red dot uh, visible. Uh, that, that It doesn't pop out when your brakes are applied. Sorry, this is, I can't go that much detail. Um, underbody, of course, is the incredible repeat of detail. Check out your Jenna motor there, um, and uh, there's your main pull box over there, your main junction box. Uh, you've got your whole Rolacron control system. You've got your air, dual air reservoir. There's your D22 brake system with your combined reservoir control valve, relay valve, quick service valve. Uh, more electrical uh, uh, junction boxes called pull boxes. That's the water raising reservoir. There's the big water tank. That that That's an air reservoir for getting water up into the, uh, I think there's a shower in here, plus the... Um, uh, toilets and what have you. There's your uh, Frigidaire AC condenser unit, Frigidaire AC compressor unit, your battery boxes. Uh, there's your, uh, your shore power. As you can see, there's uh, of course your um, your Barco steam lines, the steam steam connectors. So as you can see, the usual repeat of detail sprung diaphragms with beautiful etched metal end gates there, lettering on the end door, including the number plus warning sign. Uh, it's got a full interior, which I'm sure uh, Jeremy and Jordan are going to show you like kind of right now. Uh, so while I'm talking, they'll be showing you that stuff, but that's not here right now. Anyway, and uh, they've got track powered lighting. You can see here in the CP car on the layout, you got some beautiful uh, tracks. Just kind of nicely, uh, it's not too strong. It's nice glow, comes through the windows. The windows have a slight green tint, uh, just like the prototype, the Solex glass. So you've got that coming through on the windows. Um, and uh, that's the baggage dormitory in a nutshell. Um, let's pull off a manor sleeper here and show you the manor sleeper. So, uh, you may have a FUBI VRCP car from another manufacturer. I won't mention any names, but it's, uh, it's not correct. The manor sleeper um, is a unique uh, 4451 design. What that means is uh, you've got four. We go in Canada, we talk from cheapest to most expensive uh, accommodation. You've got four sections over here. Uh, that's bursts, upper, and lowers. You got four single roomettes over here, um, and it's actually if you look inside, you see even we, we did curtains. You can see the curtains through there. It's it's it's. Can you see that there? It's right here. Press that to focus. All right. So uh, the way I said, we had the four sections. We had the four roomettes. Okay. Then we've got the five double bedrooms. All right. You've got A, B, C, D, and E. And then this is F. This is a compartment. This is 18 inches more space. Um, when the kids and I do, Dahlia, tell me about, t tell everybody about E and F. 
Because that's our, those are those our rooms. Those are right our there. rooms. Yeah. We yeah. only get them because we have so much luggage. Yes, yeah, so we have so much stuff. And we always get E and F on the Canadian going from Toronto to Winnipeg. And F with the extra 18 inches, it's a place for the suitcase. So uh, it's wonderful. So this, this, is, this together creates the biggest room possible on the Canadian. You open up the wall between E and F and you're right there. So underneath your managed sleeper, very similar to what we see in the baggage car, but of course all different because this is a managed sleeper, not a baggage car. Um, the important the difference here, you have an alternator because you've got some fluorescent lights in the car, so you gotta have your alternator there to get DC to AC power. Um, and then you've got, again, your, your pull boxes, your main junction box, your, your Frigidaire uh, compressor condenser, the D22 is arranged differently. There's your water raising reservoir, very important. Without that little dude over there, you got no water in the car. So that's very important little detail. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's just beautiful. All the different uh, uh, steam valves and, uh, and air traps. And I can see that it, all, it, it looks really good hanging down all that detail. And of course, if, you're, uh, if your train derails and ends up upside down, you can show off all that repeated detail because that's the way it looks great. Um, and, and they have like things like little stirrups beside your door, separate grab irons. There's, uh, I think these are, I think these were plastic on these models. I think we're replacing them with metal. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to replace those with metal or keep them in plastic. I've talked to the factory about that. But anyway, even your, your end brake chain there, you know, just to get in the way and, and cause derailments. But actually, no, so you uh, cut that off if it's too long. But that's the kind of detail. you got your handbrake over there, and you've got to, actually got your chain coming down uh, under the car. So that's the level of detail. Can you even see that? Am I pointing the right way? Because I'm looking at it right here. That's the level of detail that we have. Um, and, uh, hey, okay, check this out. I've got the, the Brockville sign. Yeah, sorry, I took the camera. Um, there's the Brockville sign. Uh, I got phone booths. Yeah, we need proper phone booths. Uh, and there's your freight office made by John. Isn't that great? I, I love this stuff. And uh, there's, oh, check this out. Check this out. This is when, when Via Rail first started. They didn't paint all their engines, so they, did, they just painted out the CN logo. So I took some tape, covered up the clean paint, and then dirted everything else. It looks like fresh paint. Isn't that great? Yeah, okay, good. back to you. Okay, all right, can you see me? All right, that's your manor and your baggage sleeper. Uh, in a nutshell, you can get them in uh, Amtrak and SP and all these other paint schemes, which I don't need, so they're not here. Uh, but have a look at our website, or maybe, Jeremy, you can show the pictures now so people see the pictures. And, uh, and please get your orders in. Uh, the deadline is February 15th, but because uh, the factory's closed right now, if your order's a little late, don't worry, get your order in. We'll still make it for you. And uh, these will be coming out later in the year, hopefully. There you go. That's the video. Good day.